what was it like going from what you were warned about and then actually working with her? So she was absolutely very nice to me. I didn't have any problems working with Shannon. She had a lot of problems with the cameraman and some of the people on the crew because she felt like a lot of, this is just my perspective on it. She felt like she was always waiting around for them. She would like get to set and it wouldn't be right. And then they would be trying to kind of figure it out. And then the first few takes, like I remember in the tiny, the tiny little room where there was the editing and da da da. That was actually a re that was not a lose one wall kind of a thing. That was a real space that was very small, and it was the director wanted to do a oneer, you know, he wanted the whole thing in in one. And um, I just remember it was a hard shot to get focus on and it was just a hard shot to make, right? Because there, we people were also moving. Um, and she said, you have one attempt to get this right. And if you don't, I'm walking off the set. And so that made everybody feel kind of scared because it was kind of hard. I sensed that she was adamant about some things in the same way that maybe Christian Bale was adamant that people shouldn't stand in his fucking light. And I understand that it's not cool, but I also, as an actor, I understand it because you're there 18 hour days and you're whatever, and you're really trying to bring it. And then other people, it's, it's kind of a different job. Like you can kind of be like joking around and having a good time and like seeing what works and then boom, then, suddenly all eyes are on the actor and they can't be joking around or whatever that whatever and if they don't pull it off in that exact second everybody's like wow that actor really sucks they don't know what up.